Is anybody really surprised that this happened at a Donald Trump rally? I don't think anybody who's been paying attention to um, Republican politics is at all surprised. Uh, the reason for that is that the people who hold these offensive views are these offensive views are part of Mr. Trump's base. Uh, and Mr. Trump himself would be the first to tell you that he's got the biggest base uh, of any Republican politician these days. Now, it is too bad that he wasn't able to summon the same kind of patriotism that we saw from Senator McCain, who responded much more effectively and directly uh, when one of his supporters at one of his campaign events about seven years ago, raised the same kind of false claims. Now, what's also unfortunate is that Mr. Trump isn't the first Republican politician to countenance these kinds of views in order to win votes. In fact, that's precisely what every Republican presidential candidate is doing when they decline to denounce Mr. Trump's cynical strategy, because they're looking for those same votes. Now, other Republicans have successfully used this strategy as well. You'll recall that one Republican congressman told a reporter that he was David Duke without the baggage. That congressman was elected by a majority of his colleagues in the House of Representatives to the third highest ranking position in the House. Those same members of Congress blocked immigration reform. Those same members of Congress opposed reauthorization of the Voting Rights Act. Those same members of Congress couldn't support a simple funding bill because they're eager to defend the Confederate flag. So those are the priorities of today's Republican Party. And they'll continue to be until someone in the Republican Party decides to summon the courage to stand up and change it.